Hey you, this is Positive Tiger Gamer coming back at you with an opinion and answer short number six. Tracing the path of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Company to the Big Four and discussing one of my favorite railways, um, the Furnace Railway. So we're going to dive into that. Um, for first half of the opinion short, we are going to be tracing the path of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Company to the Big Four. So... Let's take a trip back back in time to the year 1847 when the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway was incorporated in Northern England as the third largest railway system after the Midland and North Eastern Railways. Uh, prior to the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railways 1847's incorporation, there were 15 independent railway companies that had their own mergers within their companies. The Manchester and Lee Railway from 1836 to 1847, the Ashton Slay Bridge and Liverpool Junction Railway, Wakersfield Pontfract and Goal Railway, Manchester and Southport Railway, Liverpool Crosspie and Southport Railway, the Blackburn Railway, Sheffield Rotherham, Barnsley, Wakesfield, Huddersfield and Goal Railway, um, East Lancashire Railway, Fleetwood Preston and West Riding Junction Railway, Blackpool and Lytham Railway, Lancashire Union Railway, Northern Union Railway, Bury and Torrington, sorry, mispronounced that, District Railway, West Lancashire Railway, Liverpool, Southport, and Preston Junction Railway. So through approval from Acts of Parliament, these 15 railway companies merged together to form the London and Yorkshire, correction, Lancashire and Yorkshire, not London and Yorkshire Railway. In 1847, the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Company operated a 75-year tenure with some big accomplishments, such as the first to electrify some of its rail lines and operate a steamboat service up until 1922. On the 25th of March, 1921, the, the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway agreed to allegate with the London and Northwestern Railway in 1922. So as a result, the LNYR and the LNWR were dissolved and reformed into the brand new London and Northwestern Railway on January 1st, 1922. Then in 1923, the LNYR and the LNWR's new expanded company, the London and Northwestern Railway, was for, was that was formed a year earlier, merged with the Midland and Caledonian Railway under the Railway Act of 1921 to form the London, Midland, and Scottish Railway, which is the London, Midland, Scottish LMS. As the London, Midland, and Scottish Railway Company in 1923 did little to develop the former LNYR's routes, which in many places run parallel to X. LNWR or the ex Midland routes now forming part of the same network. <clears throat> in 1948, naturalization followed, followed by a period of rationalization and modernization. Um, and then, and then that concludes another portion of the opinion and answer short number six. Um, so we're going to switch on over to talking about the Furnace Railway. Um, so basically, I'm in this portion, I'm going to share a few reasons why I like the Furnace Railway as one of my favorite British railways to research online. So please join me on this fun journey as I share a few reasons. Um, <clears throat> I love researching the Furnace Railway because of its history of operations in the Furnace District of Lancashire and Northwest portion of England. During its operation services, the Furnace Railway operated a railway that linked Yolverston, the capital of the district, sorry for the mispronunciation, iron ore mines at Dalton and Furness, and slate mines at Kirby and Furness, with the coast of Barrow Harbor and at Peel Pier. Pier. Another reason I love researching information on Furness Railway is its mixed fleet of steam locomotives on its railway and ships that formed the Barrow Fleetwood service that they operated between the years 1846 to 1922. It's a fun railway to read about because it gives a unique history of a railway that not only operated a fleet of locomotives, but also a fleet of ships that they operated between 1846 and 1922. Plus also to the color schemes of the Furnace Railway, which you can go look that up on Google for those who may want to see the color schemes of the Furnace Railway. Um, another reason is that the Furnace Railway played a huge role in transferring the iron ore and slate from the Furnace District down to the port and Barrow and that uh, Peel Pier, um, <clears throat> and then switching to the Furnace Railway steamboat services, passenger vessel named Turn T E R N 
was a passenger vessel that operated as part of the steamer service carry carrying passengers from the Furnace Railway from 1891 when she was launched till 1923, where Turns' or operator went from the Furnace Railway to the London Midland and Scottish Railway till 1948. Uh, Turn, T-E-R-N, was one of the 17 boats that were operated by the Furnace Railway till 1923. And that, folks, will conclude the opinion and answer the opinion and answer short number six, talking about the about the London, about the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway to the Big Four, and about why the Furnace Railway is one of my favorite railways. So, folks, this is Positive Tiger Gamer signing off, wishing you all a good positive day and good mental health, and we will see you all on another edition of the Opinion and Answer Short. Have a good day, folks. <laughs>